You know how in life you have certain people that's born and just blessed to do whatever great they want to do? That was my father. My father was born to play football. When I say born to play, you didn't have to teach him nothing. But the only downside of my father is he couldn't let go of the streets. They had a stronghold on him. One particular night, he just threw it all away. See, this is the night my father wished he could have back. This is that night that he was out for blood. You was in on the street wearing purple, you had to go. I mean, you just had to. My father was out for blood that night. This right here, this is my heartbeat. This is my mother. Yeah, she may look street, and she smoke a lot. <laughs> I mean, a lot, but when I say she's smart, I mean book smart. Street smart, said that. Of course, I get my talents from my father, but as far as he that books in the classroom, everything. I get everything from this woman right here. You know what? I'm glad I did. And that particular night about my father, she tried to warn my father. You know what? It's consequences if you go out here and do what you need to do. But of course, y'all know. Y'all seen it. Y'all heard it. My father didn't want to hear it. Like I say, he was out for blood that night. It's every kid's dream for their parents to come see them play. Now for my pops, of course that decision he made a long time ago. He never got a chance to see me play. Now, when that day comes for him to see me play, I know he's going to be smiling. I know he is. to the channel it's your boy CRA and we getting a little playing time right now I know it probably won't be much but at the moment we getting a little few little reps in man 0-0 zero, zero game in the first quarter and Jones take the hand off and we put us inside the five man and you can see we sitting at 4-1 21 in the nation and taking on Utah I believe the quarterback went that went out for a couple of plays so we looking to fill in and right here we get our first collegiate pass now this is a long video guys so please watch it all the way through man as you see we in old time overtime we are by three we need one stop bro one stop and williamson comes through clutch bro this is the end of this game but stay tuned bro the video is not over and it continues right now You're a genius!
It was one week before the bowl game was against Boise State. And I was showing out in practice. I mean, I was running, throwing, and showing off my arm. And coaches, they had a tough decision to make. Now, the starter quarterback, he had a decent season so far. Led us to eight wins. Nothing wrong with that. But I, like, I felt like for me, being a kid from South Florida coming all the way out to Cali, they didn't bring me out here for no reason, bro. I know they didn't. So I sat down and Coda said, hey, at least give me a shot. For one game, just give me a shot to show what I can do. And you know what? Coaches got together and pulled the trigger. And your boy gonna start, man. Your boy's gonna start. All right, now, uh, y'all, look, man. Y'all do me one big favor, man. Watch the video all the way through, man. They do the channel tremendous favor. It do me a, a tremendous favor, bro. As you can see, last game of the season, y'all saw the back of story. Y'all saw a little, a little something, something. We got one attempt for one yard, one touchdown, man. 100 completion percentage. And your boy, the red shirt freshman, Tanner McKee, Got majority of the steps. Like I say, he, he haven't had a bad season, man. 24 touchdowns, eight interceptions. But a kid from South Florida, he he just didn't commit to come way like here to Cali just to ride the bench, bro. Look at his stats, man. He's not a bad quarterback, but you know what I mean? As far as rushing wise, bro, I feel like he has another dimension. He's no Lamar Jackson, don't get me wrong. But when you have a running game and you know you add a quarterback that can run, yo. That just scares the defense, bro. Jones is over 1,200 yards, man. 304, you know, rushing attempts. That is crazy. Seven touchdowns, but like I say, added dimension, added quarterback in there, and, you know, <laughs> the sky's the limit for this offense, man. And Wilson leading everybody in receptions, you know, yards, five touchdowns. Higgins, 757, nine touchdowns. Got Trayman, 615, seven touchdowns. After that, it's pretty much, you know, a drop off as far as touchdown production. But Bailey did not come out here to Stanford, bro. Of course, to get the AK, that's first and foremost. But, you know, you got to get the kid a chance. But, you know, UCLA and Oregon State will, you know, play for the Pac 12 championship. And, you know, we sit at 8 and 4, 6 and 3 in conference. You know, it's, it's a tough look for us, bro. We had a three-game win streak. Then we lost to Washington State. Three-game win streak. Back-to-back -back overtime wins. Then, you know, lost to Oregon State. Won against Oregon. Lost to USC. Against Canada. We got ass stumped by Notre Dame. So, you know, it, it, it's, it is what it is, bro. As of right now, the, you know, the national championship is Cincinnati versus Texas. Big shout-out to John Jake Gaming because I know he's an Ohio guy. You know what I mean? Ohio State, Cincinnati. You got the Cotton Bowl. I mean, the Orange Bowl. Wake Forest to Oklahoma, Cotton Bowl, Michigan versus Baylor, Sugar Bowl, Georgia versus Western Kentucky, the Fiesta Bowl, Alabama versus SMU. That's a weird, you know, game. Rose Bowl, Penn State versus UCLA. That's crazy. And for us, we will be playing in the Las Vegas Bowl against Boise State, bro. This is Raheem's Bailey chance to show the coaches moving forward. You know, something to think to really think about going into next season, bro. Is it gonna be? It's gonna be a you know, a quarterback competition. It's gonna be open competition as we get it out to Benjamin. You're a sick man. He picks up a first down. It's, it's it's no it's no harm in you know getting his true freshman a chance to shine. You know what I mean? So, coach decided why why not let this kid you know get his feet wet. You know what I mean? Other than playing just one one you know couple of snaps and <laughs> then give him a full game and see what he can do and this is what this is what the startup quarterback can't do bro this is what he can't do as Raheem Bailey picks up eight and a first down and when you start running the ball like that you know the safety start creeping up and you got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside and with Raheem's Bailey on strength bro it opened up everything else for everybody else, bro. It's tossed to Jones, and he gets it out to the right side, and he only picks up two. Okay, man. Third and two. Now, can we get to nine wins? We won't get the double-digit wins, but can we get to nine wins on the Bailey? We shall see. Everything is covered, bro. He's using his legs, and he picks up a first down. I can't stress enough, bro. You, yo, 
<laughs> the starting quarterback, you know, he can't do that, you know, with the offense, bro. And we get out to Higgins, and Higgins picks up six. And he, I believe he is coming back. So that's definitely going to help out Raheem. It's a couple of weapons that's coming back that's going to, you know, help out Raheem if he does get the starting job. Right here, bro, we just sack, bro. Sack, and we got injured for a couple of plays, but we back, bro. We back, nothing serious. We are down seven to three, and right here, first and ten, a tight end is wide open. You're sick. Let's go. Let's go. As we take the ten to seven lead, yo. That's what I'm saying, bro. Look at the box, man. And when he's, you know, gain that coach's trust to where he can audible, bro. It's gonna be, yo, scary for this office, man. Nice throw to Trayman, and Trayman breaks a tackle. He is down the sidelines, and he picks up 41. And that's something that you just can't teach, bro. The orange strength, that's God-given ability. As Jones picks up eight, as he nails the first down, second and two. Now, let me know if y'all digging that, you know, GTA cutscene as far as giving more background and rundown of his pops. You know what I mean? Like I say, you know those you know, he dominated high school, bro. That's one way to put it. You know, like certain players that just born to play the game, his dad was one of them. And highly recruited, man. Definitely highly recruited on his way to college. But, you know, the streets had a stronghold on a, a, a very strong grip on him. He just couldn't let the streets go. And that basically ruined his chance at stardom, man. And right here, we get it out to Pete. And good play by the cornerback. I didn't realize he was playing cover two right there. But yeah, man. But his dad, you know, one one cost can, one one decision can cost it all, bro. And right here, you were sick with another touchdown. Let's go. Let's go, baby. A tight end is a quarterback best friend, bro. Second and 10 right here. We get it out to Higgins. Smart play to get out of bounds. They could serve them timeouts, man. That last timeout at that. First and 10 right here. The escape ability. And we going to run and nearly pick up the... Yo, get down, bro. <laughs> get down. With that stamina that low, they could have easily ripped that out, man. First and 10. Oh, good. Yo, look at the clock management man we managed to get three right before halftime so we are up by six and right here we just can't do nothing with that bro excellent play called by the bringing the safety blitz and we get sacked man so second and 12 right here read option time give it out to jones and jones cannot break that if you'd have broke that that definitely would have been a lot more yardage but they are up by one man first and 10 they are bringing the blitz and we get it out to Trayman. Let's go. Yo, turn it on the Jets if he has some Jets, bro. Good throw, good catch, man. Good yak after that also. Second and seven, Chris strike to Higgins. And Higgins picks up a first down. But his mom, his mom, you know, tried to warn his dad. Like, you go down this road, it could cost you, you know, everything. And his dad didn't want to hear it. And... His dad was out for blood, bro. And, you know, ultimately, it cost him, bro. It, it, it definitely cost him. Right here, Bailey is using his legs. Go block by the receiver. And we in that end zone. Let's go. Talk your shit, bro. Let's go. And we actually going for two right here. Ah, bro. Damn. <laughs> we just had to get rid of that, bro. We just had to get rid of that, man. The two-point conversion field. Now, defense is holding strong, though. Second and seven. Quick slant to Wilson. That's his first catch of the game. Let's go. Yo. Michael Wilson pick up a 40 on the play. First and 15 at the all-size penalty. Bro, that same route, same kind of route play combination sets us up beautifully, man. Second and inches right here. I don't know why we trying to screen pass. No time to get rid of it, and we go down again. All right, 39. But yeah, man. Oh, whoo. That, that would have been a pick six, bro. Four minutes remaining in the game, 29 all. Yo, it's team takeover. It's team takeover right now, man. And Jones picks up three. 
But yeah, man, his, his mom is definitely a go getter, man. She has definitely got three or four degrees. You know, she book smarts and also street smart. So that's that's definitely a good thing to have, man. And that's where he that's where he get his smartness from, bro. Of course, you know, Raheem gets his his genes, athletic genes from his pop, but he, he definitely that, that book smarts from his mom, so all right here, we just got rid of it, bro. It's Unger, the other tight end, picks up fire, man. He turns something into nothing, man. I mean, nothing into something. Hey, that backwards, by the way. <laughs> Heading off to Pete. Pete, the quick feet, and he picks up fire, man. Third and inches. Pete with the quick feet, bro. He, he definitely seemed like one of them quick feet kind of running back. They had the fullback diving. It's easier first now, man. Let's go. And we, and we score right here, man. It's over. I'm telling you, it's over, bro. Read option time. Pete with the quick feet, and he picks up for Okay, we'll take it, man. And Jones is out for two weeks, man. That's that's definitely, you know, you definitely, definitely don't want to see that, man. Pete with the quick feet on the picks up three. That's going to bring up a third and four, man. Tall, tall play, good blocking out there on the edges. Pete with the quick feet picks up eight, man. I like that name, man. Just kind of random came up with that. All right, first and ten. Oh, blow coverage. Let's go, Unger. Lucas Unger with a touchdown. Receipt. Them boys are hype, man. I told you, we scored, bro. And our defense and held up, man. Pete with the quick feet. Use them timeouts, bro. They down to one more timeout. Let me know in the comment section. If you think the coaches, you know, made a smart decision as far as letting Raheem Beatty play this game, man. So next next sophomore season, they, it's a quarterback competition that's going to happen, bro. So y'all let me know in the comment section. It's something I'm going to work out, to, you know, maybe like a spring game where the starting quarterback even will have one half of the game and, and Beatty gets second half, and it determines that way. So y'all let me know in the comment section if the coaches made a smart decision. Moving forward, bro. What? That's the towards the end of the video, man. I can't thank y'all enough. We gonna keep running it up, man. It's because of y'all is is where I'm at, man. I'm not satisfied where I'm at, but I'm definitely grateful. God knows I'm grateful. I'm a humble person, don't take nothing for granted. I can't thank y'all enough, man. Until next season, next video, man. We out of here.